So this is something I've been meaning to talk about with you for a while, actually, and it's been hard to believe it's been a year since this film, well, nearly a year since this film came out. But Detective Pikachu, what did you think of the movie? Because I don't think I got your official reactions after, in, in the review. We discussed it um, privately, but we never did it on while recording. And we always said we were going to, and then it just never came up. Yeah. So, my actual take on it is I really liked the film. I really, really liked the film. I did think it was, it, obviously it's, it's more designed towards children, and you can see that very obviously. Um, but but that is fine, that's Pokemon. It's, part, it's literally called Pocket Monsters. Like, it's meant to be for the younger generations. It's just so nostalgic and such a treat to see. Um, the actual, like, film itself, the way it was written and everything, was actually quite intriguing. It was very, very intriguing, the fact that, me like, it threw its red herrings there, like, thinking, like, oh, Mewtwo's the bad guy. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Um, and Mewtwo itself as a character, seeing him on the screen was really cool. <laughs> I really, I got so hyped when I saw Mewtwo. I was like, oh, that's Mewtwo! <laughs> but, uh, Detect, well, the Detective Pikachu one, I just thought was, like, very, very, very well done in its type of animation. Because they actually got people from the outs outside to... Well, they actually got an artist from the um, from not the film industry, because uh, he was really good at making lifelike Pokemon. I heard about that. Yeah, they 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 got a guy who was very creative in designing realistic Pokemon, and they got him to be involved with the production. Yeah, yeah, because he put some stuff out on. I'm not sure if it was DeviantArt or um, other kind of like or reddit or just online he just put it online and he kept doing uh people kept wanting more like he did really realistic ones pikachu uh charizard uh charmander you know squirtle all the a lot of the pokemon he's done a lot of them and they all look really good so they and you can see his work reflects in the actual pokemon that come out as a finished product on screen you can see that the bulbasaur is actually very very similar to the bulbasaur he drew yeah. so that's that's very interesting to see and it's like the fact that they realised that, yeah, this guy knows what, like, real-life Pokemon would look like, and he's really good at drawing them, he could help us. The fact that they've just given that guy a job like that is pretty amazing, first off. <laughs> yeah, it's good, good, impre good impression there, because it shows that they, they know good talent when they see it. And they're actually, like, online and listening to what fans like. Yeah. <laughs> That's already, like, Sonic has done a very good thing. Like... Say what you want about the Sonic film. I, I don't even know if it's out yet. I haven't seen it. It's not. Uh, well, probably because it was delayed because they had to re-fucking-make Sonic. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that they listened to the fans and changed it, and I've seen that on bus adverts walking around London and stuff. You see it on, on the side of the buses, uh, like the actual art for Sonic has changed. Mm. And it's like, that's awesome. That's awesome. Thanks for listening to us. That's like way better. Already, Sonic doesn't look like a demented, like, a bought fe fetus or something. No, <laughs> oh, please get that. Yeah, just... Uh, but the fact that he looks like such a stupid character when he was too... Hu they added too many human features to him, and then they made him Sonic again. It was was pretty good. Uh, I think that's kind of similar to what the Pikachu series... Well, the Detective Pikachu series have done as a live-action Pokemon. They've made them realistic in their own way but they've kept the spirit of how their design looks yeah and how like funky and crazy they are and like cartoony and animated you know it's, mm. it's it's all it's all kind of there similar to how they did the adverts back for the old uh pokemon games on the game boy have you ever seen those adverts i don't know live action I've... ones where like pikachu and all his friends get on like a bus and stuff all and that. the bus driver drives them somewhere and then murders them hor horrifically into a box oh God. Um, <laughs> and then they come out as a game boy and then he starts playing it huh. forever trapped <laughs> uh, that must have been traumatizing for the kids <laughs> and most of the other cut halfway through <laughs> <laughs> didn't even show the game boy at the end just they're all dead oh. <laughs> but yeah um I, for, for me i reiterating what i said from my review i fully enjoyed the movie my only gripe with it was that it didn't really I guess really it tried to be a detective story, which was the point, but the problem was that it's also trying to be a Pokemon movie and elements of that just didn't work. I just think that yeah. it wasn't as 
strongly executed as it could have been, and certain characters were quite annoying. Again, I would. would I feel like that's well. that's more because of it was directed to a kids film. Like that girl actor, I don't know what her name was. Me neither. But she, the, she, the first time you meet her, I I was just really annoyed by her. <laughs> I don't know what it was. The way she was just like, and I'm this, and I do this, and I'm exposition girl number two, and it's <laughs> and she's just going around talking like. We need everything explaining, but that's the essence of a kids' film. True, but at the same time, I think you don't need to talk down to an audience to tell them to tell a story, even if it is a kids' movie. And Pikachu, I don't think, is doesn't need to be that deep. But mm. I think it needed to find a good balance and with the characters, with the story. And I just think the film didn't live up to that in all the ways it could have done. However, what it did do at least set the groundwork, I think, for a potentially good series of films, which is why I want to talk about today because. With the potential for Detective Pikachu 2, there's been no news on a sequel so far. However, it was announced like before the film came out that there was there was going to be a script written and it was going to be a sequel. For now, we don't know if it's going to be a direct sequel, if they're going to bring back Ryan Reynolds and all the, the cast from the, the first film, or if they're going to do a complete revamp and do a new team with a new cast. But I wanted to ask, what did you think would be a good idea to do for a sequel? Well... I don't know if Detective Pikachu 2 would be a good idea for a sequel, but they, they, should, they should just do another Pokemon film. Just, like, another Pokemon film that isn't Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu is done now. They solved that case. It's done. I honestly have no idea what they could do. There is hype behind the film, because of the recent Pokemon game that came out. Yeah. Sword and Shield. So, I know uh, a lot of my friends are playing that at the moment. Um, I have not picked that up yet, but I will. Um, because there is a lot of hype behind it. Um, it kind of, the Pokemon games is what carries the hype, really, because there's no really films out there apart from the actual Pokemon films, like the animated ones. But there's no hype behind a live-action one. Detective Pikachu it hasn't carried hype, I don't think. Um, so I don't think it's going to be too on-demand for a Detective Pikachu 2. But if they do another Pokemon film, uh, like, more of a battling one, more of a one about the trainer and the battling. Maybe they should. They, maybe they should do like a really, really good, up to date, kind of deeper story uh, about the connections you have with your Pokemon in like while going through a really tough time, battling out an evil organization that seems to have work <laughs> in the games. You know, like Team Magma, Team Aqua, Team Rocket, Team whatever the fuck. <laughs> like they're all they're all trying to kidnap Pokemon, man, and we gotta catch them all. Yeah, I. I, I do agree. I think that there is there is room, I think, they could do if they wanted to do a direct sequel. But I also think that ship in some form has sailed because the, the, film, the first film ends pretty much with... You know, spoilers here for anyone who hasn't seen the film for some reason. The, the main character is revealed that his fa it's revealed that his father was the one who was fused with Pikachu, which is why he was able to speak. And the film ends with them two being separated, so Pikachu can't speak anymore. And a lot of people have said if they're going to do a sequel, they've got to bring Reynolds back and voice the Pikachu again. And the only way they could do that, from the story point of view, would be to have them fused together again. And it's hard to really come up with a justification to do that. No, they should just... Pikachu should be Pikachu now. Yeah. And, and if they bring Ryan Reynolds back for Detective Pikachu 2, he should just be another character. Yeah, but then again, that was he should, kind of... He's an actual detective, though, isn't he? He is. But exactly. That, he, I, he is a detective. Just have him involved. Yeah, <laughs> and I do think there is room for them to do that kind of story. The problem is also when then you get people who will be like, I came here expecting, you know, Pikachu, the detective Pikachu, not Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds with Pokemon. So I think that's where they might have a bit of a problem with it. Which is why I, why I agree with you, actually. I think that they should move past Detective Pikachu, but instead continue the Pokemon side of the story. Because yeah. I think, again, as, as you said, I think doing a Star Wars anthology-style approach to it could be the long, the, how they could make it last longevity-wise, because you don't have to rely on the human actors to continue into sequels and so on. You can just rely on the Pokemon, the designs, the, the visuals, and you can make whatever story you see fit around that scenario. And as you said, you could tell different stories that can give more range. I mean, one pitch that I've actually well, kind of crossed up out of nowhere really here is that I would love for them to do... Here's my pitch, basically. We've got this protagonist, let's, let's call him Del. <laughs> yeah. And it's basically him, he's travelling on his own Pokemon journey, and he comes across this little sea village. 
that thrives with Pokemon. And he could basically have like an aquatic selection of Pokemon. He could have like a Sharpedo. And let's also give him a, th a Furligator. I think that's how it's pronounced. And we could have the, we have those two Pokemon maybe have a bit of banter and how they, they don't like each other. There's a rivalry between them. And it's basically these three going on this Pokemon journey. And then it's, you know, shenanigans happen. They can maybe meet a Garakomp, or whatever that one's pronounced. And it could be them trying to catch this Garakomp and Lo and behold, there's also this story like that can involve Team Aqua, maybe. Yeah, just getting new, new Pokemon, an actual Pokemon adventure. Yeah, a new setting, <laughs> a new cast, new characters, new Freya, but the story can be still in spirit to Pokemon, and they can yeah. do that for different variety of other sequels afterwards. You can do set different settings, different scenarios. I mean, yeah, who knows? Who's to say you can't do completely new settings as opposed to just t doing ones in spirit of the old games or the new games? There's, like, there's much potential you can do with the brand beyond Detective Pikachu, which is why I think what they need to do with the sequel, if it ever does come to fruition, which I do hope, they take a long look at what this could hold for the future of the brand. i tell you what they might actually do for Detective Pikachu 2. I just thought of this. With like Mewtwo being the uh, kind of one of the main characters in uh, Detective Pikachu 1, uh, the second one could involve Mew? Oh, maybe. Because Mew has psychic powers similar to Mewtwo. Very, very similar. They're basically the same genetic. Mewtwo was a genetic build off of uh, Mew. Mm. And Mew is a very, very rare ancient Pokemon. Maybe they're trying to find it. Maybe they're like, maybe Mew, being the little trickster it is, has come along and swapped Ryan Reynolds into Pikachu's body again, and the only one that can undo it is Mew, so they have to go find Mew to undo it. Or, maybe that that could be the underlying thread of the entire series. It could be about this intertwined story between Mew and Mew 2. The first film was about, you know, Mew 2. Mew, Mew was it Mew? <laughs> Mew 2. Mew 2, sorry. And then the sequel can be introduced Mew, and... As the films go on, we can have this underlying thread that something's going on with Mew and Mewtwo, and that's how they can all be interconnected, but not mm. having to worry about we do a continuous already, story. We do, however, already have a film about that. Do we? It's a very old Pokemon film, but the very first film, the film where Mewtwo come, uh, is first shown in Pokemon, uh, Ash is actually involved. Uh, oh yeah, back in the in the old Pokemon series, there's a movie uh, to do with Mew and Mewtwo. Is that the first Pokemon movie, or was it? Or uh, I don't I don't think it was the first one, no. But it was definitely a movie. I think <laughs> it was just something to do with Mew. I don't actually know what it was called what it was called, but it was a great it was a great film that one. Yeah, I I don't know. I I, the, I just guess at the end of the day, there's potential for what they could do with this franchise, and I'm and I'm hopeful that they can equally do a good job but and improve on the flaws of the first film and I, as i said my pitch i'm, I'm probably going to elaborate on that down the line because that's actually quite a cool idea now that i think about it but i'm hopeful but i also yeah. just feel like i, I feel like it's the only thing they could do really if they want to mm. put ryan reynolds back into pikachu's body the only way you would do it is something similar that happened to them with mewtwo and Mew, since mewtwo is on their side or something whatever um, I don't actually. I don't actually know if Mewtwo ended up being like a super good guy or something. He, he was just like an okay Pokemon, wasn't he? He, he yeah. wasn't a dick. Yeah. <laughs> he was trying to save everyone. But the only thing you could do that is similar to the Mewtwo uh, swapping bodies is Mew. You know, that's. I feel like that's probably the only way they could do it. I guess we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. They might come up. They might concoct something. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe they'll just make a simple detective story again and who knows maybe they can craft that to into better into a better one or maybe it will just fall flat on its face yeah well i'll be interested to see what they make anyway anything that's made in the in the uh, pokemon universe is going to be fine in my books to be honest more pokemon that's better mm, we'll see